What's going on? It's another beautiful day on Vancouver Island, as you can see. Tonight we are going to be tinting the fog lights on my 2014 Fiesta SD. So let's get started. All right, so here are some of the materials you'll need to be tinting your fog lights with a film. So need a couple microfiber towels, a heat gun or a hair dryer in my case, some gloves to keep the oils from your hands off of the surfaces, an exacto blade, as well as a squeegee with a piece of felt on it. Don't want to scratch up the surface of that vinyl film. And then a flashlight to see imperfections. Obviously the film, I bought these ones pre-cut from Laminex. Link in the description as always. Some rubbing alcohol to clean up the surface. You could use a clay bar as well to get the contaminates off of the surface, but this will do. And a spray bottle full of water. You could as well put soap in there, but I just prefer to use straight water when installing them. All right, first off, I'm gonna start by putting a little rubbing alcohol on a microfiber and giving the area a quick wipe down. All right, now that we got the area wiped down with some rubbing alcohol, we got our gloves on to keep our, the oils from our hands on the lens, and we got our vinyl piece here. I cut the tabs off as well. We are going to remove the film and quickly wet down both surfaces. Just get a nice mist on there. And we will install this now. All right, we got the base in there. So now we are just gonna give it a little heat and then try and run some of that water out from behind the film. Now if you bought pre-cut vinyl, you should be able to do it while the fog light is still in the bumper. If not, and they are recessed in the bumper, you'll probably have to pull them out as you'll have to trim the vinyl around it. But these pre-cut ones, you just trim the tabs off and you can fit it in around and then use this squeegee to go around and get all the water out and then heat it for that final finish. All right, there's the finished product there on the driver's side. We'll get to the passenger side next. So basically once you put that film on, what you're gonna wanna do is get it in the center and then work your way out in a spiral pattern to ensure you get all of the water out from behind the light. And then I just used the feed, the squeegee with that bit on the end and work my way around the inside of the film got all the water out of there and gave it its final heat and it should be good to go. All right, and here we got a comparison with the lights on, stock versus tinted in the yellow. And we'll run over here. And as you can see, it does actually make a bit of a difference with the fog with that film on it. You can see it's white with the passenger side and it is a little bit yellow on the driver's side. So, it does make a bit of a visual difference as well as a cosmetic. All right, compared to some of the film you buy off Amazon, this Luminex film is actually quite a lot thicker and more durable than just the cheap stuff you'd buy off Amazon. And it's a lot more forgiving as well. So it costs a bit more, but I think it's worth it for the price. All right, and here's the finished product here. Got both sides done. 
There's what the fog lights both look like after it has been tinted with that film. It does look fairly yellow. And it does protect your fog lights, even though mine have been on my, my cars of 2014, so they do have some small little chips in them, but you can't see it from far away. Now, if you're going to do it the way I did it, with the fog light recessed into the bumper, you will not be able to peel back the vinyl or film, sorry, if you make a mistake. So, it is a little bit less forgiving, but it does save time in that you don't have to remove your fog lights. Now, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. 